WBC Alumni Relations Coordinator and today I am here with Larry Stevenson. He is an alumnus of the WBC and he came down here today all the way from Arizona to go to our scholarship reception. Larry, tell me a little bit about your scholarship. Well, there's some background to it. First of all, a lot of people like to leave money for scholarships in their will or their trust. And I was prepared to do that. And then a few years ago, I thought, why wait? So I said, I, I can enjoy the giving now while I'm still around. So I contacted the foundation at the time, and one thing led to another. And I asked about endowing a scholarship. It's fantastic. And <clears throat> Casey, they asked me what kind of scholarship I wanted what kind of restrictions or stipulations on it. And I said none. I know some are for people that are left-handed and majoring in French literature <laughs> or whatever, but I said none. Make it as open as, and give it to somebody that needs help. Uh, that great. was the only you know, criteria that we put down. So let's rewind a little bit. You're from Arizona. How on earth did you get to WVC? That is an interesting story, I think. I was working in Arizona, AC, in the summer after I graduated from high school. And I should note, even backing up even further, I'm the oldest of eight kids. And growing up, my father was a carpenter. There was no talk of going on to college. As I'm getting ready to finish high school, people are making applications and taking tests and all that. I did none of that. Not a thing. I, I had no plan of going to college. But after, the summer after I graduated, barely, I was in the bottom fourth of my class, I said, Larry, you're going to go to college. Just, I was 17, what did I, what did I know? And so I said, You knew that you were going to college. I was going to go to college. <laughs> and like a lot of young people, you don't want to go to college where you're from. And so I said, Well, I'm going to go somewhere else. I was working at a plant nursery in Phoenix, and nobody wants to dig holes when it's 112 <laughs> degrees. And so I, my main job was to water the plants. <laughs> and this guy drives in with Washington State plates on his car to get a bag of fertilizer. So I said, sir, where are you from? And he says, Wenatchee. And I said, great. I says, is there a school there? And he says, yeah, they're a good school. And he was going on, and he says, well, we took the basketball. Championship on that. I said, is there a college there? <laughs> and this guy had to think a while. He says, yeah, Wenatchee Valley College. And I told myself, Larry, that's where you're going. I got off work at 5 o'clock that day, got in my car and drove to the Phoenix Public Library, went to the reference section, found a book about colleges, and there was Wenatchee Valley College listed with the address, and so I knew where to come. That's crazy. And so in August, I loaded up everything I owned in my 54 Chevy and headed north. It was fate. Fate. And I just <laughs> showed up here, um, made no application, you know, pre-application, whatever you call it, for admission. So you never applied? You just showed no, up? No, I just showed up. And that's part of why I have affection for WBC. I showed up here and said, I'm going to go to school. And the administration folks somehow took me under their wing. They <laughs> probably couldn't believe that I did it. They, uh, they took me under their wing and got me registered. I got good counseling, good classes. And when I left here after the year, all of my credits that I earned here at Wenatchee transferred to Arizona State oh, University. Great. So I had a great experience. So tell me about life after WBC. Well, after one year here, I had, as I explained, a retreat to Arizona State University, my home school. And I um, was on my own. I worked my way through uh, the remaining three years of my education for the 
undergraduate degree. And I worked as a waiter, bartender, kitchen help, whatever to paint her <laughs> to, to get through. And then I graduated and I was so excited. I, I did not major in anything specifically for a job. I just more liberal arts kind of thing. And this was, a, I graduated, uh, my undergraduate degree in 1966. And if you remember your history, the United States was looking for a large number of healthy young men about that time. <laughs> There's something called the draft. <laughs> and I, I was draft eligible. But I, I beat the draft by enlisting in the U.S. Army after I graduated. Okay, how long did you serve for? I it? served two years in the U.S. Army. Very cool. And when I got out of the Army, I had GI Bill. Oh. So I used part of my GI Bill to get a master's degree because I, I could either work or get the GI Bill. And they were about the same at the time. And I said, I'll go to school and get a master's. While getting my master's, I looked around and said, there's still more to learn. And I still had more GI Bill left, so I went on and earned a doctorate degree from the University of Cincinnati. And what was your doctorate degree in? Geography and planning. Okay. What I call description and prescription. Because <laughs> <laughs> they kind of go hand in hand. <laughs> so then after you earned your PhD, then what? I taught. I thought the only thing you do with a PhD is become a <laughs> professor. So I became a professor. I took a teaching job at the University of Hawaii at Hilo and taught there for several years. I was a tenured associate professor there. And then I decided to return to Arizona and work as a professional planner, which is really my interest. <laughs> not, not teaching, but more of the applied side of things. And then I worked as professional planner in various roles for the rest of my career. How did coming to Wenatchee Valley College contribute to the success that you had? I mentioned I barely graduated from high school. <laughs> so it gave me the rigor of learning, learning how to learn, how to apply yourself in a college setting. And Wenatchee Valley College at the time had fewer students than were in my high school graduating class, so it was a small environment. If I just started out, Casey, at a large school, Washington State, whatever, you know, Arizona State, I, I, I might not have lasted, I might not have figured it out, but um, being in a small, comfortable environment helped me catch fire, I think. Learn about learning and want to learn. In 2007, WBC honored me with their Alumnus of the Year Award. Which you were very deserving I, of. <laughs> well, I was very happy to receive it and surprised and pleased. That's fantastic. That's one of my hangs on my wall. With oh, that's great. Well, there you have it. Alumnus Larry Stevenson, if you would like to donate to the foundation like Larry, visit wbc.edu forward slash foundation. Larry, thank you.